Hello and welcome to another episode of Tip Tuesday TV where I share tips on physical, mental, social, spiritual, financial, and environmental wellness. Now on today's Tip Tuesday, I'm going to discuss high animal diets. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Which diets have you tried that you eat um, mostly from an animal source? like your proteins, how do you choose which um, animals to eat? And have you really considered what they contain and how they affect your health? Now, if we have never met, I'm Wanda, and if you're tired of suffering from pain, inflammation, low energy, and gut discomfort, then we need to talk. Yes, I would love to have a conversation with you because I help people feel better with natural and affordable solutions that last a lifetime so that you can be fit, fueled, and fabulous. And for my guys, I like to say handsome. So um, what I wanna talk about is high animal protein diets like the paleo, the keto, and um, the carnivore diet. I wanna emphasize the importance of eating only pasteurized, grass-fed, and organic animal products if you are using or eating these types of, um, following these types of diets. And the reason why is because of the potential toxins that you're adding to your body. And these toxins, they adhere to your fat cells, okay? And that's something that don't just come off so easily. Now, grass-fed beef is nutritionally um, superior than um, grain-fed beef because it has a higher level of the omega-3 fatty acids and higher levels of um, vitamin E, beta-carotene, and uh, conjugated linoleic acid, which is a norm as CLA. Also, persistent organic pollutants like PCBs and dioxins, as well as pesticides and flame retardants and other lipophilic, which are fat attracting compounds that are often found um, in the highest quality quantities in fatty animals, okay? So you want to make sure that you're looking at that. Also, artificial hormones are rampantly used in beef and dairy industry as well as in the sheep and farming. And that's because they wanna promote um, faster growth and higher um, milk production in those types of animals. The animals have been treated with hormones, um, are prone to higher rates of tissue inflammation and infection, and requires an increased use of antibiotics, which is not good for us because we're just killing off um, other good things. So um, if you are on one of the above diets or you've tried them before, I would like to recommend that you focus on consuming um, the highest quality of those types of meats that you can afford because it will help reduce some of those things I discussed. And as you know, I really don't subscribe to any fad diets because what I do is I customize a plan for your own bio-individuality. It's made specifically for you. So if you wanna know more on how you can enhance your wellness, schedule your Get Well Discovery call with me today at www.getwellwithwanda.com. And remember, procrastination never met a goal. I'll see you next week. Bye for now. Look forward to hearing from you.